Today, enjoy the video as we dive in and learn more about Sierra Leone, the people, the place, the history, and a little bit more about the country itself. Sierra Leone is a country in West Africa on the Atlantic Ocean side. It's known for the white sand beaches lining the Freetown Peninsula. It definitely has some incredible views. The capital city itself, Freetown, commemorates the nation's slave trade history with the cotton tree with the Cotton Tree Landmark and the King's Yard Gate. Both were known as places of refuge for returned slaves in the 18th and 19th centuries. Nearby, Bunce Island was a key departure point during the slave trade. When it comes to the food of Sierra Leone, stews are a fundamental part of Sierra Leone's cuisine, with cassava leaves having been called the country's national dish themselves. Stew is often served with jollof rice, white rice, or snacks such as plantain, such as plantain. Sierra Leone gained independence on the 27th of April in 1961, and its Republican status on the 19th of April in 71. Since independence, there have been many changes in the socio-political and economic spheres of the country. The outbreak of the war in Sierra Leone caused a setback to many areas itself. There. Sierra Leone has a tropical climate with two distinct seasons. The dry season from December to April is dominated by winds from the northeast. These are the northeast trades and the rainy seasons from May to November. Both seasons in Sierra Leone have some variations in the commencement and duration. Sierra Leone has everything adventurous travelers could want. If you're thinking about visiting, you should know Sierra Leone is troubled in its history with civil war, and Ebola means that few visitors actually make it there. The Lonely Planet Guide referred to Sierra Leone as, quote, the safest country in West Africa, and anecdotal reports suggest that the country is relatively safe for expatriates, as most visits to Sierra Leone are 100% incident-free. Experts believe that our four primary factors contribute to Sierra Leone's overwhelming levels of poverty, though. Government corruption, a lack of an established education system, absence of civil rights and poor infrastructure. These factors make poverty very difficult to beat in Sierra Leone. The best time to go to Sierra Leone is in the dry season, which runs from October to May. It varies by some years, but that's the time frame. In January and February, they tend to be the hottest months. Birders will find December or January most rewarding for the country. Travel is also popular in June in late September, although there will be heavy downpours and rural roads can become very muddy. Sierra Leoneans are very generous. Many families opened their homes and took in Liberians who have been in refugee camps in most other countries. Sierra Leoneans are very industrious and make do in a very unequal and harsh society. Teachers could go months without getting paid, while politicians drove around in fancy cars, but the regular people made do in Sierra Leone. They are a people who are very, very hardworking. Freetown itself has some great beaches and resorts, as well as a lot of great natural attractions. Sierra Leone was very safe by Western African standards, definitely safer than many pre-war homes. Even though the country was run under a single party rule, the people felt very free to share their opinions about politics and politicians. The people of Sierra Leone welcome visitors and are proud to show off their country. There are few social restrictions, though sensitivity is suggested in more rural areas. English is widely spoken in Freetown through Creole, and tribal languages are more prevalent in the countryside. Translators are available as well. You might want to know that always ask permission in Sierra Leone before taking pictures of nationals. In most cases, they'll be happy to comply, especially if you promise to send them a copy of the picture. But if you promise, be sure to follow through. Christmas is celebrated in Sierra Leone as well, and by almost everyone despite Islam being the professed religion is practiced by close to 80% of Sierra Leoneans. Most importantly, it's good to know that Sierra Leone is the most oval-shaped country in the world. Now that you look at it, you probably won't not see it next time you pick out a map. Secondly, Sierra Leone has the first university in the whole west of Africa. Founded the 18th of February, 1887, for Bay College University, Sierra Leone is rich in natural resources, which we'll show you in just a moment. 
especially in diamond, gold, bauxite, and the precious metals of aluminum included on that list. The country is a member of the United Nations, African Union, Economic Community of West African States, Mano River Union, Commonwealth of Nations, African Development Bank, and the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. Now, we'd like to present and share with you some of the views, some of the unique and interesting landscapes that only Sierra Leone can provide. And if you enjoy the views, do follow along with us in one of our other videos as we travel 25 of the most uncommon and unfamiliar places on the planet and enjoy the beautiful views.